Ever found yourself in the company of a toxic person and wondered how best to handle the situation? Well, you're certainly not alone. Dealing with toxic individuals can be a daunting task. But what do we mean when we say, toxic person? They're individuals who consistently bring negativity into our lives, manipulate us, and drain our energy. In this video, we'll explore five psychological strategies that can help you navigate these challenging interactions. First, we'll discuss setting boundaries, a crucial step in protecting your mental and emotional well-being. Next, we'll delve into staying calm, a tactic that can prevent you from getting swept up in the storm of toxicity. We'll then explore the concept of practicing empathy which can help you understand the toxic person's perspective. Fourthly, we'll talk about avoiding engagement, a strategy that discourages harmful behaviors. Finally, we'll look at seeking support, a step that can make you feel less alone in your struggle. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by a toxic person, this video is for you. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our future videos. The first step in dealing with a toxic person is setting boundaries. Imagine boundaries as invisible lines you draw around your emotional and physical space. These lines are not to keep people out, but to protect your well-being. They allow you to interact with others while maintaining your comfort and safety. Consider this. If you had a neighbor who always borrowed your lawnmower and never returned it on time, you'd probably set a boundary, right? You might tell them, please return my lawnmower within two days of borrowing it. This is a simple yet effective example of setting boundaries. When dealing with a toxic person, boundary setting might look like limiting the amount of time you spend with them or deciding not to engage in heated discussions. The key is to establish these boundaries firmly and assertively, but without hostility. Remember, your well-being is paramount, and setting boundaries is a vital part of self-care. Keeping your cool is crucial when dealing with toxic individuals. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to let emotions take the wheel. But remember, responding with anger or frustration often fuels the fire. Let's discuss a few strategies to maintain calm. First, practice deep breathing. This simple yet effective technique can help reduce stress and promote relaxation. Second, challenge your thoughts. Ask yourself, is this worth my peace? Most times you'll find it's not. Another technique is to visualize a serene place. This mental escape can provide a brief respite from a tense situation. Lastly, remind yourself that the other person's behavior is a reflection of them, not you. Their negativity says more about their state of mind than it does about your worth. These strategies can help you stay calm and composed, even in the face of toxicity. Remember, you can't control others' behavior, but you can control your reactions. When faced with toxic behavior, empathy can be a powerful tool. Let's take a moment to dissect this. Empathy, in essence, is the ability to understand the feelings of others. When dealing with harmful behaviors, empathy allows us to see beyond the surface-level toxicity and understand the potential reasons behind it. Consider this example. Imagine a co-worker who constantly lashes out under stress. Rather than responding with anger, practicing empathy could involve recognizing that this person may be struggling with their own personal issues which might be fueling their aggression. However, let's be clear. Practicing empathy is not about justifying toxic behavior or letting it slide. It's about gaining a deeper understanding of the situation, which can help in formulating a response that diffuses the tension rather than escalating it. Remember, empathy is not a sign of weakness, but a strength that can help you navigate complex interpersonal dynamics. Empathy does not mean tolerating toxicity, but understanding can lead to better management of the situation. Sometimes the best strategy is to disengage. Let's delve into this a bit more. Engaging with toxic individuals often leads to conflict and distress. Instead, consider the art of avoiding engagement. This doesn't mean running away or ignoring the issue. It's about choosing not to participate in the negativity. Picture yourself at a family gathering. Your Uncle Joe, known for his offensive jokes, is starting to heat up. Instead of challenging him and causing a scene, you choose to walk away, you disengage. You've just saved yourself a lot of stress and potential conflict. Or imagine a coworker always eager to gossip and spread rumors. Rather than indulging in the chatter, you politely decline and return to your work. Again, you've disengaged, maintaining your peace and positivity. These are just two examples. There are many ways to apply this strategy, but the key is recognizing when it's time to step back. Remember, not every battle is worth fighting. Don't underestimate the power of support when dealing with toxic individuals. 
One of the most effective strategies in managing toxic people is seeking support. It's like having a safety net, a cushion to fall back on when things get tough. Sometimes you might feel cornered or overwhelmed by the negative energy. In such moments, having someone to turn to can make all the difference. Friends and family members often provide a listening ear, a shoulder to lean on, and words of comfort. They can offer a different perspective, helping you see things in a new light. But sometimes it's beneficial to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors, for instance, have the tools and expertise to guide you through your experiences. Remember, it's perfectly okay to ask for help. It's a sign of strength, not weakness. It shows that you're taking steps to protect yourself and your well-being. You're not alone. Reach out, seek support, and remember that your feelings are valid. So, we've explored five powerful strategies for dealing with toxic people. Let's do a quick recap. First, setting boundaries. This means defining what is acceptable behavior and what is not. It's about asserting your rights and maintaining your personal space. Second, staying calm. It's essential to remain composed and not let toxic individuals disrupt your peace of mind. Third, practicing empathy. Understanding the source of their toxicity can help you respond in a more compassionate manner. Fourth, avoiding engagement. If possible, minimize interactions with these individuals. It's okay to disengage to protect your well-being. Lastly, seeking support. Don't hesitate to lean on friends, family, or professionals who can provide advice and comfort. These strategies aren't just one-time solutions. They're tools to be sharpened and honed over time. Remember, dealing with toxic people can be challenging, but with these strategies in your toolkit you're well equipped to handle any situation. Until next time, stay strong and positive. If you found this content valuable, I encourage you to like, subscribe, and share this video. Before we wrap up, we would like to extend an invitation to further your learning and understanding. We have another video that you might find quite interesting. You will learn about the psychology of why horror movies are so popular and why we love to be scared. Click on the video thumbnail that's on the screen right now to watch the video. Thanks for watching and remember your learning journey doesn't end here.